So the draws has come out for Cincinnati, and on the ladies' side, we've got a lot of names returning in their first and finals preparations for the US Open Series. Of course, a lot of these players play the Olympics, so haven't played on hard courts for a while, but let's go have a look who's, who's not playing, because there's a lot of names that are actually not playing in this event as well. All right, so a pretty extensive withdrawal list, starting with Castella. She's unfortunately pulled out. So is Collins. She's not going to play. She got an injury at the Olympics, so unfortunately not going to be playing here. Garcia has also pulled out Keys has also pulled out due to injury from last week in Canada. Krajikov has also got an injury. She's pulled out as well. Kudamatova, she's not playing. Zachary also pulling out with an injury. And Von Drusova also not going to play this event. So some really big names there. Top 10 players too that are not going to be playing in this event. But let's go see who is going to play the event because it is very, very stacked still. All right, starting at the top of the draw, we've got we've got 16 seeds in this one. The top eight seeds get a buy in the first round. Ta starting with Fiontek. The world number one gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Tomanovic or a qualifier in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Noskova. Winner of that will take on either Mertens or the number 15 seed Kostuk in the second round. Then you've got the number 11 seed Navarro taking on Andreva. Great first round. Winner of that will take on either Pliskova or Tomova in the second round. Then you've got Potapova taking on Burrell. Winner of that will take on the number five seed, Paulini, in the second round. Cool draw. I mean, this is a cool little section of the draw. Some interesting matchups early, especially with players like Paulini and uh, Shviontek not playing on hard courts for a while. It's going to be really interesting to see the players that have been playing the last few weeks, how they do against the big dogs. But you got to watch out for Shviontek, of course, and Paulini, uh, who's been on great form over the last couple of weeks, or months, I should say. I uh, also got to watch out for Navarro, having a really good week in Canada this week. So definitely worth a watch. And also watch out for Andreva. Very, very dangerous. We all know how good she's going to be. She just won an Olympic silver medal in doubles, so definitely got to watch out for her as well in this section of the draw. Next section of the draw, we've got the number three seed, Sabalenka. Gets a bye in the first round. She's taking on the winner of a qualifier or Cochioretto in the second round. Then you've got Svetolina taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Anisimova or the number 14 seed, Azarenka, in the second round. Then you've got the number 10 seed, Samsonova, taking on Wong. Winner of that will take on either Bolter or Lynette in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Andrescu. Winner of that will take on the number eight seed, Ostapenko, in the second round. This is a dangerous draw, this section. This is a very dangerous section. A lot of dangerous, unseeded players in this section. Of course, you got to watch out for Sabalenka in this section. Also, got to watch out for Penko. Penko had a weird week this week. Not a great week, but she can always come really good, especially on the hard courts. Also, got to watch out for Samsonova. Been having a really good week in Canada this week. But you've also got to watch out for Anisimova, who also has been having a good week in Canada. Svetolina, definitely got to watch out for her as well. And Andrescu, who, of course, won a US Open five years ago. So we know how dangerous she can be on the American hard courts as well. So really, really stacked section here. And of course, this section will take on the Sviantec section in the semis. So we could be getting Sviantec versus Sabalenka in the semifinals. We could be getting Sviantec versus Ostapenko in the semifinals. And we know how that one ends, unfortunately for Sviantec. Uh, or maybe even Sviantec taking on Samson over. If you want to go with someone a little bit outside the box, if you don't think Sviantec's going to make it that far, maybe Sabalenka versus Paulini. Maybe Sabalenka taking on Navarro, if you want to go based on uh, this week's form of Navarro. Really interesting section, and should be fun to see, because a lot of these players are playing for their first time on hard courts in a while. Bottom half of the draw now, we've got Pagula, the number six seed. She gets a buy in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Mukova or Yastremska in the second round. Really fun first round there. Then you've got Dolahai taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Alexandrova or the number nine seed, Kazakina in the second round. Then you got the number 16 seed, Vekic, taking on a Dadj Meyer. Winner of that will take on either Schneider or Zong in the second round. Then you got Fernandez taking on Yuan. Winner of that will take on the number four seed, Rabakina, in the second round. Really fun section again. I mean, very good to see Rabakina back in the draw. But we've also got Vekic back for the first time on hard courts for a while. A lot of dangerous unseated players in that section too. Uh, but you got to watch out for Rabakina, of course. You've got to watch out for Pagula who's starting to come good this week in Canada. We'll see if she can keep that going in Cincinnati. Also got to watch out for Mukova. Very dangerous player. Of course, we know how good she can be. She made a Grand Slam final last year, but injuries have cut her down. So great to see her back in the draw. Very tough match against Pagula in a second round, potentially. Also Vekic. How does she go on the hard courts after doing so well at the Olympics? Uh, last week and also Schneider very very dangerous player over the last couple of weeks on all surfaces and she just beat Goff in Canada so definitely watch out for Schneider as well and the bottom part of the draw we've got the number 17 Jung gets a buy in the first round uh, she'll take on the winner of Buzkova or a qualifier in the second round then you've got Wozniacki taking on Kalanina winner of that will take on either Pavlyuchenkova and the number 12 seed Jabur in the second round then you've got number 13 seed Kalen Sky taking on Sinikova winner of that will take on either Stearns or Bedosa in the second round then you've got a qualifier taking on Putin Seva Winner of that match will take on the number two seed, Goff, in the second round. This section is full of players that need form, except for Zhang. 
But on hard courts, Zhang hasn't played, so we'll see how she goes. But a lot of players in this section, especially the seeds, are looking for some form uh, going ahead of the US Open, especially Goff, who's the defending champion. You've, of course, got to watch out for Goff in this section. She did win Cincinnati last year. You've got to watch out for Zhang as well, who just won the gold medal on clay, so let's see how she does on the hard courts, if that confidence translates. Also got to watch out for Jabur, who needs to get some form because she didn't do great last week. Same with Kellen Skyer. Had to withdraw from her match last week, so she's looking for some, some fitness and some form. But also watch out for Bedosa, who's had a really, really good week on the hard courts the last couple of weeks. Of course, one Washington, very dangerous. And of course, this section of the draw would take on the Rabakina section, so we could be getting Goff versus Rabakina. We could be getting Goff versus Pagula in a semi-final. Maybe even Goff versus Vekic, if you want to go with something a little bit different. Or maybe if you want to go, you don't think Goff's going to make it, maybe you want to go with Zhang taking on Rabakina. Maybe Zhang taking on Pagula. Maybe Zhang taking on Vekic, a rematch of the gold medal match in the finals of the Olympics. That is the draw for Cincinnati. Interesting draw and a very crucial draw because we're going to find out who plays well here might be winning the US Open in a couple weeks' time. Of course, the US Open's only coming up in two weeks' time. Very quick turnaround because of the Olympics. And of course, Wimbledon didn't feel that long ago either. So yeah, it's coming up quick, the final Grand Slam of the year. But let me know down the comments below. Who's going to win this tournament? Who's going to win Cincinnati? Last couple of years, it's been a little bit weird. It's been a bit, I guess, random. I mean, Goff had such a great tournament last week, or last year, I should say. But the time before that, I mean, there's been some crazy champions over the time at this event. And especially with the pressure on, so many players need form this week before the US Open. But there it is, the draw for Cincinnati starts on Tuesday.